Trying to get a difficult person to love us. This is the number one symptom of somebody who has experienced childhood trauma. What do you consider to be the definitive symptom of childhood trauma? It's about trying to get a difficult person to be good to us. And this rang so true to me, I know all too well. And as I'm growing and healing, I'm realizing that I have replicated this in almost every area of my life. Work relationships, I was pandering to people that were difficult to work with, that wouldn't give me their approval, that had their own stuff going on emotionally and were taking it out on me in the workplace. My friendships, I was trying to love and give and do the most for friends that had their own trauma and couldn't show up for me in the way I needed, couldn't love me back. We're not responsible for their healing work and therefore we're sleepwalking through life and we're absolutely clueless, if not downright aggressive <clears throat> to the ways that they showed up for me, the ways that they hurt me, the ways that they did me dirty and to the uppermost levels of relationships, of love, of romantic love. These people were toxic. I was chasing love. I was hunting it down. I was wanting them to contort and change to love me better and to show up for me. And it's in almost every single relationship that I have. And the real healing work from childhood trauma is realizing that you're chasing down in almost every area love that is not yours to chase, that the real love, the real work, the real pursuit is in your own love. It is in healing that inner child that is chasing, 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 waiting to be proven wrong, waiting to be shown that they're worthy of love. It is giving that inner child that love yourself from an adult place where you can say to your childhood self, I've got you. I will protect you. I will no longer let people in your life that are hurting you, that are inconsistent, that would betray you, that are envious of you. I will no longer allow those people in your life. I've got you, I will keep you safe. It is giving that to yourself. And then you start to replicate that in all areas and relationships in your life. You start to choose lovers who provide safety. You start to choose girlfriends who provide safety and consistency and comfort. You start to say no to people in the work environment that are toxic, that are not kind, that are not treating you with the requisite respect. And you start to demand more for yourself, but it is all an inside job. You start to heal that inner child within that was chasing love and hunting down love. You start to give it to yourself and then all of your relationships in your external world reflect that inner work.